Hello everybody, welcome back to Creating Hanley. I am Kimberly at Creating Hanley and we are flying around in my studio today. So look at look at this star. All right, that is a scrappy star block made from leftover. So I had a bunch of these two and a half inch squares left over from this pumpkin star block from October. So this should look familiar to you if you've been following along. Let's see if I can, this pumpkin star block with the wonky, with the wonky star for October. Quilt along. So I have, I made a bunch of those there, but I had, since I had all these squares left over, I made four patches because I'm gonna actually make a quilt out of that. I made more than one <laughs> of those stars. So these are part of that project. And then I still have a bunch of these left over, but this is what I'm making for the November, the second November star block. And I did not sew it together yet, but basically I made this right here, this um, plan, and it's just a scrappy star block. And what I did, instead of making the star light, a light color, I made it a dark color. And then you need 24 half square triangles. So when you do that, you get a bunch of these leftovers. And so sew the other side so that you have smaller half square triangles and you can put that in another scrappy project. So 24, you need 24 half square triangles. And you can actually flip it around if you want to. So I had more darks than lights. And so I made my star dark and my background light but you can do it the other way around. You can put your star light and your background dark. Regardless, you need 24 of these half square triangles and then lay them out in this pattern. Lay them out in that pattern and sew them together. So what I would do is make four patches. So, if I explode this out a little bit, you can make four patches, okay? So make four patches. Sew the four patches together. Here's a four patch, and here's a four patch. Sew your four patches together, and then you have a nine patch. All right, is that, uh, is that right? No, maybe a 12, uh, nine patch. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. And then you have a nine patch. So sew your four patches together because um, that's gonna be a little bit easier that way. So once you make once you make your 24 half square triangles, then you need four corners in whatever color you want, and then you need four in the center. Okay, now I have two and a half inch squares here. You can use whatever size you want, but I just had left over two and a half inch squares. And then you need four of the light color or whatever other color. So you actually need, so if you're making it the same as this, as mine, and you're doing the dark star, you need eight extra dark two and a half inch squares, and then you only need four of the light color for the contrast. So you would put the four in the in those smaller corners like so. Okay. I know this is a crazy kind of a video right now. Um, we're just going to do this real quick. I didn't sew it together yet. Look at all my <laughs> sewing mess there. All these projects, so many projects. Sew those all together and then you have your second November 
No, did I, did I even do a November star block yet? I don't think I did. This was from October. This was leftover October fabric. So now we have our November fabric, uh, or we have our November star block. So it's fall colors. We're still in November. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You have a great Thanksgiving day. We'll see you on the next video. The December star block is called Gift Box Star. I had to think about that for a second. Gift Box Star. And I'll see you on that video. Hang in there. Um, if you want me to, if you want to see me sew this together and like how it how it goes together, leave me a comment and I will put that together. But in the meantime, make your stars, make your quilt sandwich. Remember to quilt the top. And this is a quilt as you go. So we're gonna quilt each uh, star block. And this should come out to 12 and a half inches. If it does not, then a border. Just add a border around. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Bye for now.